Hey trash cans, it's Ashley. Welcome to the vlog. It feels so good to be back in front of the camera and talking to you guys. I've got a super busy week ahead of me, so I figured I'd pick up the camera and vlog. We're playing the University of Illinois this weekend, so I have friends that go there that are coming to visit here. It's gonna be a little bit chaotic, but I'm really, really excited for it. I'm starting this vlog off a little bit later than normal. It's around 12.30 now. I had my first like overnight for a brand partnership last night. It was so nice. I really enjoyed it. I did a whole like ultimate self-care night. I did a hair mask, a face mask all the things but checkout was until 11 and I wanted to soak up as much as I could so I checked out right at 11 and then I went straight to the gym after that right now I'm in training to become a cycling instructor at the school gym so I teach like half of tomorrow night's class so I wanted to go today to practice and then I have to get it approved later today by my mentor so I was at the gym for about an hour just practicing fine-tuning things making sure I'm all ready now I am back at my apartment I only have one class today which is super nice and it's not until 2 30 so I'm thinking I'm just gonna stay here and do homework for a couple of hours I didn't do any homework last weekend so I'm a little bit behind and I want to make sure that I don't have to do any homework this coming weekend since I'll have friends visiting so I really need to get all my schoolwork done during the week this week I've been doing homework for the past hour and a half, but now it's time for me to go out to class. I only have one class today, but this professor likes to randomly call on people in our 200 person lecture. So I had to make sure that I kind of knew my stuff. This class is one of my shorter ones. It's only an hour and 15. I'm home now from class. I stopped in at Target on my way home and picked up a couple of things. So I'll show you guys what I got really quickly. I didn't get that much stuff. I got some rice cakes. This was the last one that they had, so I'm really happy that I snatched it up. I got some command hooks because we have some neon signs that I need to hang up. An onion because I'm gonna make pasta for dinner tonight and I always love to have sauteed onions in my pasta. Roasted artichoke and spinach hummus. I've never tried this flavor. I really like the Target brand hummus. It's actually my favorite hummus. So I normally only get the original flavor, but when I was at Trader Joe's, I decided to try their roasted red pepper hummus. So now I've been into trying like different flavored hummuses and I was stuck on if I wanted to try this or the roasted red pepper one of the Target brand. So I flipped a coin and this is what I picked. So I got that to try. And the last item, this is the main thing that I needed from Target. I got a bath towel. I thought I brought more towels to school with me, but I literally have been functioning with one that is like this big like when i wrap it around my body it like barely covers my butt and my plan was to get like a gray one but then they had this really cool pattern so i picked that up i still have some homework i have to get done before tomorrow so once i put this stuff away i will do that for a little bit and then i will make a dinner then i have to go back to the gym to meet with my mentor for my cycling instructor training i basically just have to run her through what i'm planning on doing tomorrow make sure that our class like all flows and then i have self-defense class directly after that they offer self-defense classes for at the Nick, which is the school gym. So my whole table from my botany lab last year, we all signed up for it and we've been going to it together. And our first one was last week. So this is only our second meeting, but I'm excited. I really enjoyed the one last week. I made some pesto pasta with Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna eat that for dinner while I do some homework and then I'll head out to the gym. I'm home now from self-defense class. Today we like went over everything that we learned last week and we also learned tactics for when you're being followed. 
and how to get away if someone like grabs you by your wrist. We usually do physical and verbal stuff in self-defense class, so I feel like it's pretty well-rounded. We have four more weeks of it. It's six sessions total, and this was just the second one, but it is now past nine o'clock, which means it's past my bedtime, so I'm honestly gonna just get my pajamas on and go to bed. I have a really busy day with classes tomorrow. I have four classes back to back, so I always try to go to bed early on Mondays. That way I just am a little bit more well-rested to get through the day. So with that being said, I will talk to you all in the morning. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I just got ready for the day. Here is my outfit. I literally think that I wore this in another vlog because I'm an outfit repeater, but I don't really care. Top is Forever 21 and then jeans are Urban Outfitters. My first class is at 9.30 and then I have a class directly after that. And then I have a little 45 minute break and then two classes back to back again. Right now I'm gonna get my bag together, pack up a lunch and then head out for class. Hi everyone, I just got home from my long day of class. For my last discussion of the day, we ended up going to the Allen Centennial Garden. We were supposed to do that last week, but then it was like raining and hailing. So we got postponed to this week. It was actually really fun. The ground was wet though, so now my jeans have um, some stains on them, which I'm not happy about. And it was a great way to kind of like mix up the classroom environment a little bit. I came home to two packages in the mailroom, one from ThreadUp and one from Princess Polly. So I figured I would open them on camera for you guys. If you've not heard of ThreadUp, it's basically like an online thrift store. It's so much better for the environment to thrift, which is why I love working with ThreadUp. And they have some amazing brands on there to shop from. I picked up this high neck Nike Pro Top. I thought it was super cute. It has the crisscross Nike in the front and then on the back. It's pretty open I've been doing a lot of work at the gym recently So I needed some new gym clothes and then I'm also in the market for some like comfy casual clothes to wear to class So I picked this out from thread up. It's this gray Henley shirt from garage I've been really into like Henley shirts recently. I have a discount link for thread up and for princess Polly So I'll be sure to put those in the description. I got two long sleeve black tops This is the first one you really can't see on camera, but it has a cutout right here Then I got this black top. These are not really showing up that well on camera But this one has a crisscross design in the front. So it almost looks like it wraps around and finally classic princess Polly item the archer pants I just got these in brown and I am obsessed with them so I wanted to get them in this light tan color the only issue is that they're super long on me so I'm gonna have to take them to the tailor before I can actually wear them out it's a little after four right now I don't have to leave for cycling until 550 the class is at 615 so I have to get there at like six to set up and everything so I think with about the hour and a half that I have right now I'm gonna do some homework and then I'm also going to prep my dinner in advance I normally eat at like five six but I'll be out teaching then so I like to have my dinner ready beforehand so that when I come home from teaching I can just eat right away I'm all dressed and ready for cycling I'm wearing that new top that I just got off of thread up and then just these pink leggings I'm super excited to teach today's class this is like the longest segment I have taught thus far with the training program you basically progressively teach more and more of the class that way you get to kind of ease into it so I think I'm teaching 20 minutes of class today which is the longest I've ever done this is only like the third week of training. I'm really excited to get on the bike today. So I'm gonna pack up all my things and then head to the gym. I'm back at my apartment from cycling. It went super well. The energy was really, really great today. I even heard some people leaving the class talking about how much they liked the playlist, so I feel especially proud of that. It's around 7.30 now. 
So I'm gonna hop in the shower super quick, eat some dinner, and then probably just hang out for the rest of the night. I have a super busy day tomorrow. I'm a part of this club called Slow Food. And long story short, it's basically like a student run meal. So we like cook all the food, do all the service and everything like that. We have family dinner night, which is on Monday nights. And then we have cafe, which is lunchtime on Wednesdays. And we have our first cafe tomorrow. So I'm both really nervous and excited, but I'm gonna be there for like three or four hours tomorrow. And I'm kind of stressing about my schoolwork because tomorrow I basically have to go to do slow food all day long. Then I have class and then I have to go straight to work after that. So that would be two days in a row of not doing any schoolwork. Um, so I'm a little bit stressed. I'm gonna shower really quick eat dinner I might actually do some homework tonight since my classes are so back-to-back -to -back today I didn't have time to do like any schoolwork outside of class and tomorrow I have a super busy day as well And I'm not gonna have time to do schoolwork either So I'd like to do a little bit tonight before going to bed everyone it is Wednesday morning I went to rhythm ride cycling this morning at the Nick came home took a shower got ready for the day did a little bit of cleaning in the bathroom and in the kitchen since we do have visitors coming tomorrow I want everything to be nice and clean now I'm gonna film a TikTok for Princess Polly and then right after that I'm heading out to slow food quick overview of the day I'll basically be at slow food all morning come home, grab lunch, go out to class and then I have to go straight to work from class and I work until 8 p.m. back in my apartment now from slow food that was honestly like one of the most fun things I've done in a really long time I genuinely can't remember the last time I had that much fun I was in the kitchen all morning prepping food cooking food and then once people started showing up I went into service I was like waiting on tables and stuff which is the first time I've ever done that before and by waiting we just literally just bring the food out and like that's it that's the first time I've ever done anything like that before and it was kind of fun to be honest I feel like it's low stress when you're not actually like waitressing it's more just like bringing the food out and stuff but I had a really great time and I took some leftovers home with me to have for lunch. So that's what I'm gonna do right now I really only have about 20 minutes before I have to leave for class I have to go straight to work right after class. So I'm gonna pack my dinner and bring it with me I just got back from work. It's only 8 p.m., but for some reason I am exhausted. I think just because I had a really, really, really busy day today and it was kind of stressful to be honest. I just have a lot of schoolwork that I need to do that I didn't get to get done today. So I'm gonna shower super quickly, finish up an assignment, submit it, and then go to bed. I have an 8 a.m. tomorrow, so I'd like to get my sleep. And my friends get here tomorrow night, which I'm super excited about. I'll talk to all of you in the morning. Hopefully I get to do a little bit more schoolwork tomorrow than I did today. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I'm up and ready for the day. It's about 7.50 so I have to head out the door here soon. I have an 8 a.m. class today and it's like three hours long which normally I would hate but my professor is just so nice and warming and welcoming that it's honestly not even that bad and it kind of flies by. Usually I have two classes on Thursdays but one of them got moved on to Zoom today. The agenda today is to go to my first class then I'm going to go to the NIC and practice for our assessment this weekend. We have like these bi-weekly assessments in training so I'm going to practice for that for a little bit and then I'll find somewhere to go to study do my online class come home and then get ready for my friends to get here they're not gonna get here until like 10 p.m. tonight so I'm not really sure if we're gonna do anything tonight or what the plan is at all right now though I need to head out for class
I came home quickly to change into some workout clothes and now I'm heading out to the gym. I'm back at my apartment now. I was literally out like all day long. It's 5.30 and I'm sitting on the couch. I'm gonna do some homework while I wait for Rebecca and Maddie to get here. They're not supposed to get here until 10 because both of them have class until five. It's gonna take them a little bit to get here. I figured while I'm waiting, I can get some more schoolwork done. I'm also having some problems with my ear right now. I don't really know what happened. While I was practicing at the Nick, my phone got that like notification that said, your volume has been too loud this week. You should turn it down. So I turned it down and then I heard this ringing in my ear and now I like can't hear out of it that well and it feels like there's a lot of pressure in there and I've burst my eardrum before but I burst my left one and now it's my right one that's hurting so I don't know if I burst it again or if I have an ear infection it's kind of been bothering me all week so I'm not sure if it's an ear infection or if I like burst it but hopefully it will go away on its own I'm gonna see how I feel in the morning and if it's any worse I'm gonna set up a doctor's appointment but for now I'm gonna chill on the couch do some homework I'm gonna see how Rebecca and Maddie feel when they get here if they want to go out or if they want to stay in I feel like today's part of the vlog and yesterday's part of the vlog were very boring but that's just because i've been out like all day doing things and haven't really had the chance to talk to you guys and i've been trying to catch up on my homework because i've fallen a little bit behind this week i don't have class tomorrow so that's really nice and tomorrow my mom is coming in to take me rebecca and maddie out to lunch which i'm really excited about Rebecca and Maddie are here! Hi! We made it! They made it. So excited. We're heading out. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. We are up and ready to go this morning. Last night was super fun. I had a lot of fun. It was a great time last night. We are heading out to do some schoolwork this morning. We all have some stuff we have to get done today. So we're going to head to Collectivo. But my one roommate forgot her lunch today. So we're going to go drop it off to her really quick. And then we're going to get some homework done. And my mom is coming for lunch at noon. We're going to go to the Great Dane. I'm super excited. And we're going to have dinner on the terrace tonight. Which I am so, so, so excited about. We're going to have a day. We're gonna have a full, busy, fun day. Came back to the apartment, quickly changed our outfits, and are now heading out for lunch. Okay. We're back now from lunch. I feel like a horrible vlogger. I forgot to take a video, but I do have pictures of the food, so maybe I'll insert them here instead. It was really, it yummy. was really, it, it was, was good. really good, mm -hmm. and it was really great to see my mom. My hometown is super close, so she comes up a lot and just like meets me for lunch and stuff. So it was really good to see her. We went to the Great Dane. We went to the one at Hilldale, but there was like a lot of construction, which was annoying. But the food was really good, and our waitress was mean. Oh yeah, she was mean. Our oh. waitress. Was was like giving so much attitude yes. for like no reason mm. but the food was great so yeah. it kind of made up for it yeah um and now we're back at the apartment i think we're just gonna chill for a little bit here rebecca has a meeting that she's in right now mm. and then we might go thrifting because i've always wanted to go thrifting in madison but i've never had like a car to drive to a thrift store <laughs> but they obviously drove here so we might go do that but i did get a package in the mail and we went shopping at urban outfitters so i'm gonna mm. do a little haul for oh, you guys yeah. and show you guys what i got when we were out earlier we stopped in at urban outfitters after collectivo and they were having a big sale so I had to get some stuff. The first thing is actually an item that I saw on their website that I was going to order because I liked it so much. I was gonna literally just order this top because I'm obsessed with it and it was on sale for $34 which was like so good. It's really kind of out of my comfort zone but it's giving me very like Halloween vibes and I'm really here for it. It's this lace top that obviously I'm gonna wear something under it. It is so cute. It ties in the front and then it has like brown trim all around 
around the outside. Then I got this sweater top. I really love the colors on it. Last thing I got from Urban is this sweater. I love the neckline and the buttons on it. I also got a Princess Polly package in the mail. I'm especially excited about this because it was supposed to get delivered tomorrow, but it has stuff in it that I want to wear to the game tomorrow. So I am so, so, so happy that it came in today. First thing from Princess Polly is this white tank top. It has an asymmetrical bottom. It has seams like on the outside. Then I got this cute little black and white baby tee. It just has the, like the PP logo on it. And the item that I am most excited for, these red pants. I am obsessed. I really hope that they fit well because I really, really, really want to wear them tomorrow. I'm thinking I might even wear these pants with this shirt tomorrow. I feel like that would be super cute and it's supposed to be like 70 degrees, but that is everything that I got. I'm gonna change it to some comfy clothes and wait for Rebecca to get off her meeting and then we'll see what we do with the rest of our day. I put on a little bit of makeup because I was feeling a little ugly and so I wanted to put some makeup on. Rebecca finished her meeting, I finished baking some blondies and now we're gonna go to the thrift store. I really need to get pants, so I'm really hoping that they have something there and is there anything in specific you're looking for? Probably jeans, I have a lot of jeans but I'm kind of over them. So we need to get new pants new today. Pants. So really hoping that they have good stuff. talk to the camera in a while but that's because we've been going like all day long we went to dig and save which is basically like the goodwill bins where it's a bunch of just bins of clothes and you sort through and pick out stuff and then pay by the pound so i want to do a haul of all the stuff that i got from dig and save because i got a bunch of good stuff and all of this was only 14 dollars. first thing i got is actually not a clothing item it's a donut pan i've wanted a donut pan for a while because i want to make my own like apple cider donuts i was literally gonna order a pan on amazon this weekend but then they had this one at dig and save so i'm really happy i found that I got this bomber jacket it looks so good on it's super like oversized i got this tweety bird tank top because my mom's nickname for me when i was little was tweety bird well she still calls me it to be honest i think this would be super cute if i cropped it and just wore it as like a little tank top in the summer then i got this large gray henley top i feel like this will be good just for like going to class and stuff something cash i haven't decided yet if i'm gonna crop this or not i might i got this wisconsin rose bowl hoodie the neck is like all cut out but i swear that that style is gonna come back in you guys can mark my words come back to this video when that's back in style because i'm predicting it this is gonna this style is gonna come back then i got this pair of black gray corduroy pants i still have to try them on to see if they fit but i really hope that they do this last item is such a good find an oversized denim jacket but it has the harley davidson logo embroidered on the back i feel like i did a lot of shopping today but i haven't done that much shopping recently after dig and save we came back to my apartment and then we went to memorial union for dinner they had a concert on the terrace, so we sat outside and ate it by the water, which was really pretty to watch the sunset and everything. I'm especially trying to take advantage of all the time I can spend outside right now before it gets super cold here. But we're obviously back in my apartment now. We're definitely staying in tonight and having a more chill night because tomorrow is game day. And it's an 11 a.m. game, which as we know means that tailgates start at 9 a.m. So we need to be up and ready by then. So we're keeping things super chill tonight. Gonna watch a movie. Right now, I'm gonna get my pajamas on. We're gonna eat the blondies that I made earlier. This is so random, but we really want to watch the Justin Bieber Never Say Never movie. So I really hope that it's on some sort of streaming platform because I really want to watch it. I'm just like in my nostalgic era right now. Something about fall makes me super nostalgic. We're watching Halloween Town. I'm literally the worst vlogger ever, but we're on our way to the game right now. <laughs> Outfit. I'm being a traitor. This is so bad. Rebecca goes to Illinois, but yes. she's wearing Wisconsin stuff as she should. Maddie's no, also wearing Wisconsin her. stuff. We're on our way to tailgates. I really feel so bad. I really meant to vlog and I completely forgot. It's 11 a.m. game, so that's probably why I forgot to vlog because we literally woke up and immediately got ready and now we're out.
I was actually the worst vlogger today. But that's an 11 a.m. game for you. This morning, we woke up, got ready, and then immediately went to tailgates. And I completely forgot to vlog it all before we left. So sorry about that iPhone footage, but we're back now from the game. Illinois won and we lost, which is really sad. And we stopped at Jimmy John's on our way back home, so I'm about to have that for an early dinner. Rebecca and Maddie already left. Rebecca wanted to be back in Champaign early because she has something early tomorrow. So they left right after the game was over. I'm feeling really tired right now. I was gonna take a nap, but it's already like 4.30, and I know that if I take a nap right now, I won't be able to fall asleep later tonight. Plan on just having a chill night, probably just watching some TV. I've recently been obsessed with the Kardashians just like every single other person, but I went back and started watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians from the first episode because I wasn't allowed to watch it as a kid, which honestly makes sense because I was kind of young when those episodes were airing, but I am obsessed with it now. I was watching it consistently for a while on Hulu, but they took it off of Hulu a week ago, and last night after we watched Halloween Town, we looked up what you can watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians on, and it's on Peacock. So I'm really happy about that because that means I can keep watching it. To be honest, the show is just really easy to watch. I love having it like on in the background while I do homework. I've been really stressed about not getting my schoolwork done this week, so I think it's a good idea for me to stay in tonight and kind of catch up on that, especially considering I'm feeling really tired and I have work tomorrow. I have a four hour cycling training tomorrow, which is going to be a lot of work on my part, so I definitely kind of want to just chill tonight. I feel like my body is just asking for that right now, considering how tired I feel. But again, apologies for the lack of vlogging today. Game days are always kind of like hectic and crazy, but especially when they're earlier in the morning. But it's always great to have my friends visit and I'm really happy that they came. Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. It's Sunday, I'm gonna do a full Sunday reset self-care today. I have a lot of work to get done around the apartment today and then I have actual work at 1 p.m. So I'm gonna try to get as much done as possible before work. That way after work I can just kind of chill and have like a nice easy little Sunday night. To get started on all my work around the apartment, I really, really need to do laundry. My laundry basket is like overflowing and I need to wash my sheets. I'm gonna go throw all this laundry in the washing machine and then probably just do some picking up and cleaning around the room for a little bit and hopefully if I have time I would really like to get some homework done. This is such a weird angle, but I got this new protein powder. It's pumpkin spice flavored, and I really want to try it today. I like to have a protein shake before cycling in services because it's not too heavy, but it keeps me full throughout the whole time that we're working out. So in my blender cup, I just have some ice, and I'm going to do two scoops of the protein powder. For my liquid, I just have some almond milk, and then I'll blend it up. Taste test time. Here we go. It's okay. It's not my favorite. I like the Orgain brand, but I don't know. This flavor just is not, it's not the best. I'm still going to drink it and I'm still going to finish this whole thing, but definitely won't be repurchasing. I'm not ready until the very last minute as always, but I need to get to work like right now. I was supposed to leave five minutes ago. So here's the outfit, free people leggings, Nike sports bra. I'm out the door. back at my apartment now from training and I literally have an hour before I have to leave and go back to the gym again so I'm gonna try to get some schoolwork done in that time we'll see how much I get through it's been an hour I had a reading due for class tomorrow and I was able to get it done so I feel good about that and now I'm heading back to the gym this one should be quicker though should only be like 30 minutes I'm back at my apartment. I just ate some dinner and now I'm gonna take my long Sunday night shower. I love to do all the extra like self-care things for my Sunday night shower so I can get really relaxed and ready for the week ahead. I've got another busy week coming up this week. I feel like every week right now is busy for me. I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but I felt like 
after COVID, it took me a while to kind of like get used to doing things again. And so I haven't really had motivation or like wanted to do like clubs or anything outside of school just because it all kind of felt really overwhelming. But now I'm back to doing clubs like slow food and I'm super busy with my cycling instructor training and I have a job on top of that. So now my schedule is like all packed and full again. It does feel so good to just be like accomplishing so many things every week and to have my schedule full of stuff that I love to do. But with that comes a little bit more time management skills that I need to kind of refine again. It feels like every week is busy because I'm just learning how to actually manage my time again when I have a super busy schedule. But I've really been enjoying keeping my days busy. And if you've seen any of my other recent vlogs, you'd know that I really want to make some new friends. And I feel like the only way to do that is surround yourself with like-minded people. So I've been joining clubs and doing things that I really am passionate about. And I'm just hoping to find some people who, for lack of a better term, are just like kind of on my same wavelength and value the things that I value because I think that's where you find genuinely good people. So that's what I've been doing and it feels good to have a schedule that's busy but full of doing good things for others and good things for myself. I just got out of the shower and I'm so covered in moisturizer that it's not even funny. I think that will be it for the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. As always, the rest of my socials are linked in the description below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next video that I post. I've been into posting daily vlogs on TikTok recently, so if you're interested, be sure to follow me on TikTok. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. So sad.